I noticed that everywhere I turn lately, I have to hear about Robert Pattinson and how sexy he is. Unlike a lot of guys, I don't let the ubiquity of that sentiment get to me. I like when someone like Robert Pattinson gets built up into this great sex symbol. Because the best thing about him is that he's gonna be gone in five years and everyone knows it. Remember Orlando Bloom? He was hot shit a few years back because he was the sexy, effeminate male elf who was ganging up the Lord of the Rings. And all the little teens and tweens across this fine continent of ours were swooning over him. Which led to a slew of follow-up films, including the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, where he played Johnny Depp's annoying little sister. He even sported some facial hair to make him look like a man, much like Robert Pattinson is doing now, actually. It's not fooling anybody, boys. And where is Orlando Bloom? Where did he go? He was so big five, ten years ago. Where is he now? I don't know. You don't know. No one knows. No one cares. See, Robert Pattinson isn't even masculine enough to play a delicate tulip waving in the cool summer breeze. So he's certainly not masculine enough to play a vampire capable of lifting cars and seducing women and all sorts of cool stuff like that. I mean, how could he lift a car? He doesn't even look like he could lift a piece of paper with a picture of a car printed on it. Now, Pattinson's not going to be gone the very second this Twilight craze dies down. They'll throw him into the leading role in a few other movies, just like they did with Orlando Bloom. But when Pattinson consistently fails to draw an audience as a leading man, Hollywood will see the writing on the wall and they'll blacklist his ass. Mark my words, folks, in 10 years, Pattinson will be lucky if he can get a bit part in a direct-to-DVD spoof of Twilight. And that's as it should be. And let it be known, folks, that I bear no ill will towards Robert Pattinson whatsoever. I hope that when his career in the movies is over, he has a perfectly successful stint as one of the guests at many sci-fi and comic conventions across this great nation of ours, where increasingly dwindling crowds of increasingly older women make increasingly inappropriate advances towards him. And hey, when even that dries out, I hope that he finds a place in some Christian ministry. Maybe he can work for Ray comfort and talk to kids about the dangers of the occult and the evils of Hollywood and its Darwinian agenda. So, I'm watching, Robert. I'm watching and I'm waiting. Don't let me down by failing to fail.